A shocking election in Chile has leftists around the world celebrating, for good reason. 35-year-old millennial Gabriel Boric has won the presidential election of the country by getting more votes than any presidential candidate in the country's history. He rose to power through anti-government protests and many saw his challenger as a Chilean version of Donald Trump who touted the benefits of the free market economy and economic austerity measures. Boric was barely even old enough to run for president, but next March he will officially be sworn in. He is staunchly in favor of strong social programs, fighting climate change, increasing gender equality, and protecting the rights of indigenous people. He garnered international fame for his fiery rhetoric and his oft quote belief that, quote, Chile was the birthplace of neoliberalism and it shall also be its grave. According to most on Chile's left, General Pinochet, who was the dictator of Chile for decades, saddled Chile with extreme economic model dependent on austerity measures, and the organizations of Boric and his fellow students and organizers have taken up the task of dismantling that legacy. The Guardian reports that, quote, he comes from a cohort that is grimly determined to bury dictator Augusto Pinochet's bitter legacy once and for all. The media is handling his win interestingly, focusing a lot on his, well, outfit choices. There's a lot of mention about how he typically shows up to important meetings and speeches wearing band t-shirts and jeans while showcasing his many tattoos. But he's changed his look just a little now, opting for a button down and a casual sport coat here and there. According to America's Quarterly magazine, quote, on his first day in Congress, Boric wore a trench coat and a shirt with no tie or earning howls of protest from more senior legislators. Boric responded to reporters that, quote, I could care less. I want my people to judge me for my work and my conviction, not my fashion sense. But now the question is, will this millennial with the fiery rhetoric and good fashion sense actually deliver? It's going to be tough. He will have to meet society's demands for a more socialist state without scaring off the investment and capital that's needed to pay for it. Brian Winter, who's the editor-in-chief of America's Quarterly Magazine and knows Boric personally, says that, quote, he will have to preserve some aspects of the economic model that not only allowed Chile's economy to grow, but gave it the region's best record of poverty reduction and social indicators over the past 30 years. But in his own words, Boric knows what he's up against and knows what he has to do. In his victory speech, he promised, quote, to go forward with small steps, but firm ones, learning from our history. He goes on, quote, know that with me, you will find a president open to listening and incorporating different visions and who will also be receptive to constructive criticism. I receive this mandate with humility. Best of luck, Gabriel. We're wishing you success from the progressives in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.